Well, that did not last very long. CNN Plus, the announcement has been made. They're going bye-bye. Adios. Three weeks, ladies and gentlemen. That's all they made it. Just three weeks. But the question now, what happens with Chris Wallace? We're going to answer all those questions and more, guys, if you give me just 10 seconds. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. The announcement was made by Warner Discovery that, yes, the experiment is over. After launching on April 1st, CNN Plus is being terminated. <laughs> they will cease all operations at the end of April. Again, not even going to make it into a month here. Three weeks and the project is over. Now, a lot of finger pointing going on here. Of course, if you take a look at the transition that was recently made, you know, the, you know, the former owner, ATT, you know, switching over now to Warner Discovery, the staff brought up all these questions. Why would there be this, you know, new streaming, you know, platform that was going to be launched right, you know, before this transition was set to take place? Now, you got to think, the new guy in charge, Chris Licht, who's replacing Jeff Zucker, okay, he doesn't even start till May 1st, but yet they launched this thing on April 1st. So he's come out now and he's informed everybody that... If you were already a part of CNN Plus, well, some of you were going to try and, you know, retain you and implement you uh, into CNN proper and, you know, possibly looking into on-air positions, things like that nature, at least up to 500 people. Now, for others, they'll be done so. They're going to be given, uh, some of them, up to a six-month severance package uh, for the short time they spent here at CNN Plus, and then, well, that'll be it for them. They will be out the door. But um, I mentioned Chris Wallace, and let me say this, because this guy was hired specifically for CNN Plus, for this daily show that he was going to be having on various different guests, and he'll be talking about things that are even outside of politics. It was even just the other day, on Wednesday, April 20th, he had Jen Psaki on his show, praising her for what a wonderful press secretary she has been, about how fair she is, how honest and transparent she has been, at all of her press conferences that she has given. And Jen Psaki, she sat there and she was loving all of his praise. Remember, she's on her way out soon, most likely to MSNBC. And Psaki even talked here with Chris about the fact that she treats everybody with respect and fairness. And I thought to myself, wasn't it just the other day that she came out and referenced Fox News correspondent Peter Ducey? As a stupid SOB, you know, the same thing that Biden said about him when he was asked the question, I believe it was about the inflation, something like that, and Biden had called him a stupid SOB, and Jen Psaki now reiterating the same thing about Peter Deuce, yet she's respectful and she's fair to everybody. She said that she did the best to answer all of the questions honestly, especially she loved taking tough questions. No, she didn't. And Chris Wallace, did he push back? Nope. He just let her talk, let her speak, praised her. Just, the guy was ready to just make out with her. Let's just be honest here. And then there comes the announcement today. CNN Plus is going away. They're terminating their operations. And that now leaves Wallace without a job. Remember, I've been reporting on this whole thing for the last couple of months. Little updates here and there about Chris Wallace, his daily meltdowns. He was PO'd about the fact that you know, Jeff Zucker was gone because that was his good friend. You know, he's only been with this company for like four months. Remember, he left uh, Fox at the end of December 2021. But he was mad that his, you know, his ads weren't airing enough. He didn't even have a proper staff at one point. And, you know, he had been saying that he was trying to get the spot from Chris Cuomo to be put on CNN primetime. Now, 
this could be more of a reality now that CNN Plus is gone. You could see them transition Wallace here uh, into a primetime spot. Whatever they do with him, I, I dig it's just hysterical. The fact that CNN Plus has completely collapsed. And, you know, I'll put the full report in the description for you guys. But despite the fact that CNN is just itself, is just trash. If you look at the way that this entire new venture was handled, it was a disaster. Take aside, you know, again, set aside their bias and how horrible they are as a network. But if you look at the way that they try to incorporate this and, and if you go through the report and, and breaks it down, I won't go into all of it here, but you want to talk about dropping the ball and not having the right people on board or with the timing and everything else like that. They handle this so poorly. I mean, anybody that would be trying to start up a streaming type of a service, a paid subscription service at that, would if, with these people involved, would probably struggle as well. Um, in some ways, you got to feel for the employees that at least were not a part of this bigger agenda that were just trying to do the job, I guess, to the best of their ability. But even at that, um, what a disaster this was putting this whole thing together. And, you know, the new guy in charge, Chris Licht, has promised that the network will be more news driven and less opinion based going forward and that it will once again be restored to the journalism that you expect from seeing right as as if we haven't seen any sort of journalism from them in what the last 20 plus years uh, i think all that credibility chris is gone and i don't think people are coming back to cnn whether you got this new guy coming on board or not Wherever Wallace ends up, it will be interesting. He did not respond for comment uh, at the time this news came out and at the time that I'm recording this video. It could be by now that he already has something uh, released as far as a response. So we'll see how that all goes. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, it was $5.99 a month to sign up for CNN+. Plus. And you know what? Here's the other thing. They couldn't even get basic CNN to stream on CNN Plus. That's how horrible this thing was. They couldn't even get that to work properly. <laughs> Talk about dropping the ball. But guys, if you are blessed here by my ministry of me doing end time Bible prophecy headline content, would you guys like to help me out and support me here with a generous donation? The link to my PayPal is down below in the description. You could click that or sign up on my Patreon for just five bucks a month. You do that. You get access for all alerts for my content because YT barely pushes notifications out anymore. It's rare. So you'll get notified of all the content I put out. Plus, you can comment there, censorship-free, send me direct messages. Don't forget these videos also go out on my Rumble platform. So make sure you check me out there and give me a sub. Plus, it serves as a backup in case I get the boot off YT, which could happen at any point. So you might want to get in the habit of checking me out there from time to time. And a big thank you to everybody already contributing there. And for those thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. And I never want to end any video here without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Because we bring you the end time Bible prophecy content here. We see the craziness of this world that's collapsing all around us. And we need to get people to Christ in this hour. He is our only hope. It's not the media, I can tell you that much. So if you never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to do just that. This is a prayer you can do in your own words, but I'll give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. Now, first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. But let me tell you the good news. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He wipes that sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. Then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this for you guys down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.